Welcome, I'm Robert Breaker, and I was about to erase my board here and get ready for a Sunday sermon here toward the end of March. But uh, I thought I'd go ahead and make a quick video about this and, and show you what I've got up here because this is kind of special. This is kind of special. Uh, today is the 23rd of March, and um, yesterday we had a, a blessing. My daughter was starting to show interest on how to be saved. And was asking questions, and I set her down and, and went through it with her and used the whiteboard behind me. And on the 21st, uh, my wife said that she was in the car and was beginning to ask some questions. And of course, kids ask questions. And uh, before, she's asked questions about what's the gospel and what's the Bible about and things like that. But my wife said she was riding in the car with her, and, and my daughter, who's nine, said, Mommy, what does it mean to be saved? And so my wife talked to her a little bit, and, and she says, well, I wanted to know if she was serious, if she really wanted to know. So my wife explained some things while she was driving, and she saw that my daughter kind of lost interest a little bit. She listened half, but then kind of just kind of stopped. And then my wife came home, told me about it, and said, honey, I'd like you to, to sit her down and talk to her and tell her about it, because she was asking about it. So the next day, on the 22nd of March, I set my little daughter, nine years old, down in the chair right there, and said, uh, I, I hear that you've been asking mommy about what it means to be saved. And I said, let me ask you some questions. And so I asked her some questions. What, what, do, you, uh, what do you know? What don't you know? You know, get, get into the head of the person that you're trying to lead to the Lord to find out what it is they believe, what they don't believe, what they know, what they don't know. And uh, we've taught her well. And, and uh, <laughs> I think we, we did right by giving it to her little by little and waiting for the Lord's time for the Lord to work on her heart. And that's what we did. And so here's the board behind me that I went through. And uh, a lot of folks have been e emailing me, Brother Breaker, um, how do you lead a young person to the Lord? How do you, you take someone who's a child? How do you tell them? I said, well, the same way you tell everybody else. Uh, you don't dumb it down. You, you, you tell them the same way that you tell anybody else how to be saved. And so I started over here with, uh, you know, are you a sinner? Do you know what sin is? And, and I showed her verses about sin. And I said, do you know what hell is? And uh, hell is where you go to pay for your sins. And do you know about hell? And I said, if you were to die right now, where would you go? And she said, hell. I said, so you realize that you're lost. You realize that you're a sinner. And she said, yes. And so I said, okay, well, do you know where sin came from? We went back to the Garden of Eden, and I showed her about Adam and Eve, all stories that we had taught her over the years. And then I, I said, do you know about how to receive forgiveness of sins in the Old Testament? And she said, well, I know about Cain and Abel and the sacrifice that Abel gave and you know how he, he killed that poor lamb. And I know in the Old Testament you had to bring a lamb and sacrifice that lamb. And I explained it to my daughter about the blood and how you had to have a substitute in your, in your place for your sins. And how to have forgiveness of sins in the Old Testament. It came through a payment. It was through the blood. And you had to have a sacrifice of blood for the blood is what gives you remission of sins or forgiveness. And then I showed her the New Testament. I showed her Jesus, and it's great. She's nine years old, and she can read, so I was able to take her to the Bible and have her read the verses. I had to read the verse about, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And I said, isn't it interesting that Jesus Christ is called the Lamb? And I showed how Jesus Christ died on the cross for her sins. He died to take away our sins, our substitute. And I'm giving her verses to read, and I'm showing her these things. And I could tell the Lord was softening her heart. And I saw some tears start to well up in her eyes. And I showed her how to believe and what the Bible says that you believe, that you trust in the blood of Christ, Romans 3.25. I showed her 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. And uh, my daughter made a profession of faith. I asked her, are you saved? She says, yes, yes. I said, when did you get saved? She says, right now. She says, I believe. I said, well, what if you died right now and you, you stood eyeball to eyeball with God and God says, why should you let you into heaven? And she says, because I believe in your blood. I trust what you've done for me. And she had some tears running down her face and I had a couple start to well up in my eyes and it was just a great blessing to be able to show my daughter what the Bible says about how to be saved and to be able to be there as she trusted Christ, trusted the gospel of salvation for her. And we talked all about the blood and the importance of trusting in the blood. She read the verses herself about how to be saved. And uh, we then went out and talked to Mommy. 
And uh, Mommy, uh, she was almost overwhelmed. She tried to talk her out of it. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you really sure? You're... And we wanted to make sure that she believed from the heart, not just from the head. And uh, she said, yes, I really, really believe it. I mean, I, I even went so far to say, what if someone came to you right now with a gun to your head and said, I'm going to kill you unless you say you don't believe in Jesus. What would you do? She said, well, I'm not going to say I don't believe in Jesus because I do. I trust him as my Savior. I trust his blood. So over the years, we planted the seed and talked about this and taught her all this. And it seems like it's come to fruition and we're excited about that. And I just, I couldn't. I couldn't bring myself to erase the board without making a video about it and showing you. If you have children, this is how you tell them about Jesus. This is how you win them to the Lord. Also, my wife and I, we go to church on Sunday. But um, I'll be honest, we, we don't send our kids to Sunday school. We've always been afraid that if a child goes to Sunday school, that they might try to pressure them before they're ready and you know, make them repeat some, some vain religious prayer or, or get them to do something. And so we've always been very careful with our children. We wanted to be the ones that won them to the Lord. We wanted to be the ones that, that saw their development, their understanding, and their learning. So my wife and I were talking, well, maybe we can send her to Sunday school now. And now that she's saved and she knows it, then we, we know they won't be able to, to um, you know, make a false profession. There are quite a few false professions of faith in young people. And I made them, uh, when I was five years old, my mom said, just repeat this prayer and ask Jesus in your heart. And I did that, and I thought that would have saved me. Why did I do that every night after that? <laughs> every night I'd get down next to my bed and say, oh, John, oh God, please save me. What was the problem? Well, I wasn't trusting in the blood. I was trusting in my prayer. So we have been very careful to try to, to keep our children from, from doing something like that that might get them to think that, that, that a prayer saves them or something they do saves them. And I was very careful to take my daughter, she's nine years old, and show her, look, I just want you to see what the Bible says. I, I, was, I didn't think she would get saved, but... She kept saying, no, I, I see it, and I believe it, and I trust in the blood of Jesus Christ. And the tears running down her eyes, and when we're talking to her mom, my wife, a tear running down her eyes, and we were just all excited. And then I went over to the computer after and bought her a brand new Bible, and I can't wait till it comes in. She said, Daddy, I want a pink Bible. So we got her a new Bible. Hopefully I'll get her a name on it. But I just, I want to make this video and just rejoice and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And so let me get out of the way. If you want to take a picture of this board, you may. Uh, maybe use some of the same thing. I don't have the verses that I used, but uh, I did give a lot of verses. I did explain judgment and hell and damnation. I explained how salvation is being saved from hell and being washed your sins away in the blood of Christ and how you must trust the blood of Jesus and what he's done. It's what he did, not what we do, to save us. And she understood. And the Bible says you need to hear and understand and then believe. And that's when you're converted. So I did my utmost best to try to present the gospel. And uh, like I said, some people have been emailing me asking me, Brother Breaker, how do we deal with children? How do we get kids saved? How do we give them the gospel? Well, you need to be careful. You don't pressure them. You, you wait till they're ready. Amen. And you hopefully as a parent, you'll be able to see their development and, and know what it is that they are, are thinking and feeling and and uh, hopefully you're planting the seed, and then you just talk to them like you talk to an adult. I mean, I don't think I said anything different up here than I would have said to someone that was 60, 70 years old. I would have given them the same gospel that I give to everyone else. And I'm just excited to see that, the fruit of salvation. And I just say thank you, Jesus, for letting me see my daughter get saved. So thank you for watching. And I hate to erase it, but I need to erase it now because I'm all ready to preach a new message, so I've got to do that. But I appreciate everybody that's watching. Thank you for praying for us. We ask for your prayers, and we'll see you next time in a new video. God bless.